Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today, a pencil review, the Nataraj Deep Dark Writing Pencils. Uh, and this particular uh, package here comes with a free eraser and sharpener, although that is very typical of the Nataraj uh, pencils when purchased in a pack of a dozen. Um, same with the Apsara. They're both made by the Hindustan Pencil Company in India and they generally include a eraser and a sharpener. So here is the box that it comes in. Uh, deep dark pencils. And here, uh, let's see, let me focus this in a little bit. They've got a presence on social media, looks like Facebook, Instagram, Deep Dark Pencils. The box is sort of a handsome uh, color. It's uh, sort of a, almost a, a light bronze um, with a, uh, uh, a dark kind of coppery color and you know so many of their pencils are some kind of dark extra dark deep dark uh, but um, uh, this is sort of a nice looking box and on the end Nataraj deep dark on both ends Nataraj deep dark here on this side, uh, quality products from the Hindustan Pencil uh, Limited. There is the address, telephone number, email address, website, uh, retail price, um, and contents one pack containing 10 pencils. So unlike uh, in America, we generally get a dozen. Uh, here there are 10 pencils. So uh, non-toxic. And on the back, it uh, says deep dark lead. It's not lead, of course, it's graphite. For darker impressions, superior wood for easy sharpening. Not sure what kind of wood it is. It may just be like base wood or something like that. Um, I think always think if it's cedar, they say cedar, and it doesn't say that. Bonded lead for extra strength and meets international quality standards. And I'm sure that these pencils are used, you know, beyond just India, although. Uh, they certainly have a pretty good market share there. All right, let's take one out. So, here is the pencil itself. And you can see it kind of matches the box. Um, it is a two-tone uh, of a silver and then that dark copper color. Really an interesting combination. This has no eraser. It has a little cap sort of at the end. It's painted completely top to bottom. Here's the hexagonal shape with core and it has a uh, chrome foil, silver foil uh, imprint there. Nataraj. Deep dark. So that's on this end. Now if we open up the other end of the box, I think we will get our free goodies. Although nothing's free, folks. Believe me, you end up paying for it. But um, there's the box again. So here's what is there at the other end. You have a Nataraj Dust Clear Eraser. 
and also made by the Hindustan Pencil Company. And then you have a Nataraj Big Point, it says. Big Point Sharpener. Uh, Hindustan there. And it says sharpens to an optimum writing point. Well, we'll see. We're going to try that. Okay. And so here's our pencil and here's our eraser, which I will unwrap because since the pencils don't have an eraser, we'll just see how well the eraser that they include, which I assume they want you to use, we'll see what kind of a job that does. So we've got our eraser. It's a soft, uh, some sort of probably vinyl style eraser, plastic. Um, we'll see how it all does. We get our pencil sharpened and we will take the Nataraj Deep Dark Writing Pencil for a test drive. Okay, let's, um, let's use our enclosed sharpener here, our, our big point sharpener that came with the pencil and put a point on this. Seems to be sharpening nicely. Okay. There we go. Nice point. Sharpener's good. So, nice to see that. And let's put this to the paper. Okay. Whoop. Uh huh. Is it deep and dark? Yes, it sure is. Um, they do not grade the pencils in terms of, uh, you know, kind of telling us whether it's a, a 2 or a 1 or HB or a B. Uh, I will tell you though, um, in my own evaluation, it is certainly a B. Uh, it is a softer core um, and it's smoothish. Uh, you know how some pencils, those of you who are, are, are pencil nuts like me, you know sometimes you'll be writing with a pencil and it is silky. It is buttery smooth. This pencil isn't quite that, uh, but it is smoothish. It's not. It's not scratchy. Uh, it's not dragging on the page. But it does have a dark imprint, and it does have a soft core. Uh, one that frankly already could use a little sharpening up. So let me do that real quick. Good thing they give you a sharpener. 
because you'll <clears throat> you'll need one uh, writing with this pencil for any length of time. Uh, but the wood, the, the paint quality is good. Um, you know, again, I don't know what kind of wood this is, but it seems to be absolutely fine. These are not expensive pencils. I don't remember how much these were, but they were not a lot. Um, it is a hex pencil, comfortable, light. It says it has bonded lead. So let's put some of this pencil down on the paper here. And we will give it the old smudgeroo. Oh yeah, look. Wow, we go right off the page, folks. This really is soft. You see that? Yeah, this is a smudgy pencil. So much, and this doesn't happen often, but I even have it on my fingertips here. So um, uh, you're gonna you're gonna smear this a bit. Uh, that's gonna be hard to avoid. Um, again, you, you expect the softer uh, core pencils to smudge a, a little or even a lot. This really is a lot. So uh, we're going to try and do some erasing. Let's start with the um, eraser that came with our pencils and see how that does for us. This is the Nataraj Dust Clear Eraser. Okay, well there's the eraser. Uh, leaves just sort of a big crumb. And it does a decent job, decent. Again, we know already by the, the thickness of the line, the darkness of the line, the, the, the way that, that this uh, graphite smudges that we're not gonna be able to clean the page entirely probably with any eraser, uh, but we'll see if some of them maybe lift the graphite off the page better. Well, there you go. That's better. Uh, Mars plastic usually does not disappoint, and it, it doesn't in this case. Let's try our our pink eraser here, our pink pearl. Okay. Does okay. A gummy eraser. Now the gummy eraser really grabs that graphite. That did a pretty decent job. Uh, a natural rubber. Here's a Hartmuth. Okay, here's a Milan in a synthetic rubber. Okay. What else can we try here? Mapid Mini Softy. Well, there you go. I'll say that of all the erasers, uh, the Mars Plastic did the best job. The one that was least effective was the eraser that came with the pencils. So um, the sharpener that comes with the pencils, good. The eraser that comes with the pencils, eh serviceable, okay, but 
there's better erasers to use for this pencil. You know, in terms of erasability and overall erasing, this, this pencil only gets really a B because uh, you don't have a great eraser to use if you rely on the one included in the box. And just because of the nature of the core, it delivers on the deep and dark, does it ever, but it's not a super erasable graphite. That's, you know, it's, it's always the, the catch. So we're going to do some more writing with this pencil, but I'm going to have to sharpen it again. Point retention on this pencil, uh, again, not surprising, is uh, less than average for sure. When you write with a pencil like this, with a soft core that wears fairly quickly, you have to sort of, to really optimize the sharpened portion, you have to do a little dance with the pencil as you write uh, in order to sort of keep the line from becoming too broad as the core wears down and the point recedes. So I find that I turn the pencil very frequently with this Nataraj Deep Dark at, so as to keep the tip, the bevel of the tip constant and from wearing down too quickly. And that's part of writing with any pencil unlike writing with a pen where you don't have to worry about a point you just have to worry about the ink flow a pencil you do have to worry about the point 
but in part, and call me crazy, that's part of the joy of writing with a pencil, is manipulating the point as you go. And this is a pencil that you really need to navigate that point retention, otherwise you would be sharpening it every two lines, which, you know, would be like a career. So, here it is. A pencil uh, that is what it says it is. A deep and dark pencil. A um, bold line. A dark impression. And a really, certainly, uh, you could use this for art uh, when you needed something really dark um, as a shading pencil, certainly too. Um, but for writing, it's fine, again, uh, with, with the understanding that it will need to be sharpened frequently and that it is very smudgy and mm, less than easy, we'll say, to erase completely. But uh, if you really enjoy the dark line and the intense deep imprint, this is a pencil for you. So thank you for spending some time as we reviewed this Nataraj deep dark pencil from India. And we'll see you again real soon right here on Always Analog.